This is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Mikal Tal and Roman Jinji Hashvili. This amazing blitz game was played in New York in 1991. Mikal Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Roman Jinji Hashvili played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6 and now c3 intending d4. Jinji Hashvili played d5. E takes on d5, queen takes on d5, d4. Is this the Alapin variation? C takes on d4, c takes on d4, e6, knight to c3 attacking the queen, queen to d6, bishop to d3, knight to f6. Let's take it back. Winning the pawn on d4 has a tiny downside. If knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4, Queen takes on d4, bishop to b5, check, winning the queen. Back to our game. Jinji Hashvili played knight to f6. Tal castled kingside. Bishop to e7, rook to e1, and Jinji Hashvili castled kingside too. Bishop to g5, rook to d8. Queen to e2. Knight to b4. Let's take it back. If knight takes on d4, knight takes on d4, queen takes on d4, Rook from a to d1, queen to b6, and then knight to e4, and white has a compensation for a sacrifice pawn. Back to our game. Knight to b4 attacking the bishop, bishop to c4. Bishop to d7, rook from a to d1, bishop to c6, knight to e5. Bishop to d5, knight takes on d5, knight from b takes on d5, white to move. How would you continue? Tal played rook to d3. This is a part of a big plan. The rook is on the way to the king's side. h6, asking a question. Bishop to c1, rook from a to c8, rook to g3. This is a blitz game, but Tal is playing incredibly well, and Jinji is already worried. He played king to f8, let's take it back. If something like a6, then the bishop takes on h6, and black is in trouble. Back to our game. King to f8, bishop to b3, rook to c7, intending to double the rooks on the c-file. Queen to f3, rook from d to c8, and black is in the control of the open file. Maybe. Bishop to d2, removing the target. a6. White has placed all his pieces nicely, but how to continue? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing rook sacrifice? Rook takes on g7. A little shock for Jinji. Is Tal bluffing? Should black take or not? Well, white is threatening rook takes pawn on f7. If something like uh, bishop to d8 defending, then queen to g3 is deadly. So, taking the rook is the strongest move. King takes rook, why to move? What did Tal have in mind when he sacrificed the rook? What is the follow-up? Please pause and find the best move. Right. Did you pause? What did you find? Queen to g3 check doesn't work. After check, king to f8, bishop takes on h6, check, king to e8, and black is ok. Back to our game. What is the move then? The move is bishop takes on h6, check, the second piece sacrifice. Tal had to see this move before he sacrificed the rook. Black to move. The offer was not accepted, king to h7. Why? If king takes on h6, then what happens then? The knight takes on f7 check, winning the queen. Back to our game. King to h7. White to move. How will you continue now? Perhaps knight takes pawn on f7 comes to mind. Do you agree? Tal played the queen to h3, lining the queen with the black king. Knight to g8, threatening knight takes bishop. But white played a move and black resigned and the move is bishop to f8. Jinji Hashvili resigned in view of this continuation. Knight to h6. 
Queen takes knight check. King to g8. Queen to g7 check. Mate. Wow, what a brilliant blitz game. What do you think of this game? Thank you for watching and bye for now.